Boy, that was tight. Anyway, this morning a friend of mine's over for coffee and he says, one of the first pens you gave me, which is this one here, uh, I'm having a problem with it. And I said, oh, what? And I thought probably the transmission or something. And he says, I took it out of my pocket and I bent the clip. In other words, it's been yanked out this way. So he says, anything you can do with that? And so I know that the proper way to do it would be to take it apart here using one of these punches. And then here's a kit exactly the same. And then you would take and rebend the clip. You know, put a pair of pliers on here and then just bend it in. That's, that's the best way to do it. However, I've got to get it apart. And uh, so uh, that's what we're going to try and do in this video. And you just find the, the appropriate one. Now you'll notice I'm pretending I don't know which one it is. Well, I know it's this one right here. Now, uh, you, you would take this. Don't use the pointy end. Use the uh, blunt end. You put it in here. And then you force the part out from the brass tube. Using these pliers. That's what, the way you would normally do it. You'd use these pliers. However, I can't get these pliers on here. I've already tried without breaking something. So I may have a bit of a problem, but I'm going to do the best I can and uh, you'll be watching it with me. I haven't tried it yet. Now I don't think I made this pen. There's a couple of reasons why. First of all, when I was making slim lines in the earlier days, I wasn't taking the wood right down to the bushing like it's supposed to go. In other words, it was a little bit more rounded over. Okay? Uh, sort of like this. Another reason is I was looking on the inside of this and I think I can see a glob of glue in there. Now, I don't think I would have left that in there. I think I would have got it out. I was very careful right from the beginning to get all the glue out of the brass tube. So that kind of scares me because I'm thinking now it might be really hard to force this little piece out. This piece here looks exactly like this right here. And the most compelling reason of all, my friend has a relative who turns pens and I think that's where this pen came from. Now, just because this pen hasn't been rounded over doesn't mean it's not a nice pen. Most people turn a slim line to make it look like this. I just happen to have the bad habit of rounding everything over. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's whatever you prefer, whatever appeals to you. That's the right way. I've used a piece of rubber from a tire inner tube here, just sort of to take up the... Uh, space around the clip so that these are not pressing on the clip. Uh, I still have to be careful though. I can't squeeze it too tight because one of two things can happen or both. I can crack the wood or I can collapse the brass tube and it's already really really tight for some reason. I don't know if it's because there's glue in there or what but uh, I guess we'll soon know if this is going to work or not. If it doesn't, then I'll have to go to plan B. Now, I do not have a proper arbor press. So I'm going to use my drill press here. I think this should work if I'm careful. Well, we'll see what happens here. And it's on the bottom. And here we go. No, it's not pushing it out. Well, I'm just scared to tighten this up anymore for fear of breaking something. Well, plan B should be pretty obvious. The idea is that the punch is going to push down on the bottom of the clip there 
Naturally, I'm not trying to separate it anymore from the brass tube. But what I want to do is, I'm hoping that it will bend right here. And uh, I'm going to go very carefully here. I don't want to have to end up turning a whole new pen for my friend here. So let's just go real easy here. See what happens. And down we go. This is not working either. It just won't stay. Well, you know, I'm going to try one more time to see if I can separate it. I sure hope I don't wreck it. Well, I've cut myself a much wider piece of rubber. That way there's more rubber area on the wood. And I was able to squeeze just a little bit harder. And uh, hopefully this is going to give just a little bit more friction. And here we go. No, it's not working. The wood is sliding in the rubber. All right, plan C. And I don't like plan C. Because plan C, there's a danger of accidentally scratching the gold plating here. Well, there's bad news and there's good news. The bad news is obvious. I tried it again and I broke the clip. The good news is, I have a brand new clip, exactly the same. So I'll just put on a brand new clip. And I don't, it doesn't seem to have uh, damaged the wood here at all. Um, yeah, and then the pen that doesn't have a clip, well, it'll probably turn all right if I ever decide to do it someday, and I'll just give it to somebody I don't like. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see the glue on the inside of that brass tube. So that means to me one of two things. Either he felt he had to CA glue the this part in, or he didn't do a very good job of cleaning the glue out. Um, I'm sure it wasn't me. Well, it could have been, but I don't think so. This looks like mahogany, and I know I used to use a lot of mahogany. I just can't remember. I've made so many. Anyway, let's see if we can press this on. Now this shouldn't take a whole lot of pressure here. In the event that I think it's too loose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it apart again and then I'll use a little bit of CA glue, but I think this is going to be okay. So let's give it a try. Oh, that went in nice and snug. That's going to be all right. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, it works. And 
clip is nice and tight. Okay, I think my friend's gonna be happy. Yeah. Thanks for watching.